And then just a follow up on the last Sunday strike um, at the displacement camp, yeah. um, or the fire that broke out there. Since then, we've had other strikes where additional civilians have been killed, mm -hmm. all in this one area where there had never been evacuation orders given. Um, given that the Israelis are still striking Hamas leaders, are there other weapons that the U.S. can provide that are more precise, smaller, that would have less collateral damage? Um, well, thanks, Tara, for the question. Um, we continue to provide Israel security assistance in what they need to be successful in defeating Hamas. Um, that ranges, of course, from you know different types of precision guided munitions um, uh, to other capabilities. We have paused that one shipment of the larger 2,000-pound uh, bombs, um, but I don't have more specifics. We are providing them what they need in order to be effective in their fight against Hamas. But it seems even the 250-pound bombs are doing significant collateral damage and killing civilians. So is that even too big a bomb right now for this part of their fight? Well, we've been very clear with the Israelis. And um, in fact, just yesterday, as you probably saw, <clears throat> Secretary Austin did have a call with his counterpart, Minister Gallant, um, to talk about exactly what happened over the weekend, to talk about how there needs to be um, more work done in order to preserve and to protect um, civilians that are on the ground. Um, and so we continue to have those conversations. Um, we are, of course, doing that in a publicly and privately, um, but we believe that we are also giving Israel what they need to be successful in their fight against Hamas. Matt. Thanks.